You're tuning in to the Black Hollywood Live Network, featuring news, interviews, and commentary on all things Black Hollywood. Hollywood redefined. From Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is Black Hollywood Live. Next, featuring intimate and in-depth interviews with Black Hollywood's next edition of Stars and Influencers. Black Hollywood Live. Hollywood redefined. You're listening to Black Hollywood Live. And now, the host for Black Hollywood Live. Next. <laughs> All right, welcome yeah. to another exciting episode of Black Hollywood Live. Next, I'm your host, Nick Perdue, and I'm here with my lovely co-host. What up? Megan, Megan Thomas. Thomas, also known as that Meg Stoop, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, as always. How are you? I'm good. I'm amazingly blessed. How are you? I'm good. I see you got the little leopard on today. I said, okay, Ram. watch yourself. Watch out now. Ram. <laughs> it's fierce. Mm. That's fierce. You know who else is fierce? Who? The guest we have on today. Ah. Oh, now, you. I don't even really know... <laughs> How to because you're a singer, actress, writer, producer, oh God. and gorgeous. God damn. Ooh, Donna yes, Glitch. Everything. <laughs> everything. How are you, Donna Glitch? How I are am you? great. How are you guys We're doing? Good. You guys are the good looking set of people. I mean, you. Girl, you know, we try. We didn't pay a lot of money pull, for this. Pull up. Pull <laughs> up. Pull up. Pull up. <laughs> I understand. First of all, yes. great to see you. Good to see yes. you. You know, good to see you in person. Thank you for contacting me. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we, 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 we figure that it's only right, you know, and your career is on fire right now. It is. Oh, thanks, guys. And so we like to talk to people who have an on fire career, just like this outfit you got on. You know, I see it. Thank I see you. Way go, boo. Mm -hmm. Thank Away you. go. Honey, I like going to the cheap spot. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you like got to save them coins. You know, yes. you make it look good. Thank you. So let's, let's jump right into oh, this. Oh, gosh. Where are you originally from? Here. LA. Literally. Born and, and raised in LA. Born and raised in Los what, Angeles. What part of Los Angeles? I'm about to though? blow your mind because I've literally been raised in a <laughs> number of places in Los Angeles. I will start with, uh, let's see. I was born in Harbor City, which okay. is more of the South Bay. Yeah. Uh, then I was living with my mom, single mom at first, uh, in Gardena, California. Okay. Then she got hitched. And we moved to Baldwin Hills. Ah, uh, uh, moving so, on up. Okay. Yeah. So then I went to all the schools, like Baldwin Hills, 32nd Street Elementary okay. by USC. Uh, uh, my, my biological father lives at well, my grandfather's house, who was actually a Hollywood um, celeb, old Hollywood celeb. Okay. Wow. Um, his mansion is still over off of Exposition and like Crenshaw. Well, you don't have to say the exact location. <laughs> okay, <laughs> people, but see, people Google and you'll find out. It's really not because ah, gotcha. it's a foundation now and everything. Okay. So, um, there, then I went to Hamilton High School. There you go. Uh, I mean, I've, li I've lived in the Valley. I mean, I'm literally from you're, you're San Pedro. Girl. I went to San Pedro High. To wow. PB, like, everywhere. So Pirates, the huh? whole... Co <laughs> no. Listen. Don't L do it. L LA native. I didn't go to San Pedro. Right. But... You didn't go to Pedro. No, no, no. no but okay. I mean, I've, you know, I've, nah. I've been around LA. I went to summer school in Narbonne. You know, different places. Gauchos, Narn, okay. Oh, what? Wait. You <laughs> find out. Don't, don't. Yeah, you me. guys are some natives. <laughs> LA <laughs> folks. Wait, where are you? Where? I'm from LA. Yeah, and yeah. you look just like we my will, god We will talk about me later. It's yeah, okay. we will. <laughs> <laughs> sure, we'll on and off camera. You know right, what I mean? right, right. But now, but let's let's talk about about the uh, name change because okay. uh, you know we 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 know there was Destiny Light Light C, light -C. like see the light. Okay, mm -hmm. and then and so, so not now, made up by the way. That was not a made like, up name. Like that's that's I your legal government that, yes. or that's legal, really yes. okay. wow. Okay, yes. and actually, my full name is Destiny Kristen Light C. It doesn't sound real at all. But it is. And then the Donna Glitch thing happened because I had been in this industry literally my whole life. Mm -hmm. And I was an actress first, you know, done plays. I've done everything. And my success kind of skyrocketed, if you will, around the dancer stuff. Okay. Which mm -hmm. was when I graduated from high school. I, was, I graduated early. So then I was just, I was out of here. Um, but I had been working as an actress for a long time. Yeah. Once people started trying to pigeonhole me as just the dancer i kind of said wait a minute i need a, i feel like i need a change then i got a record deal with a group and right. even that needed a change i needed to branch out on my own and mm -hmm. i needed that to be 
all all its own. You know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't need anybody to take credit for what my career was doing anymore, right. even though I busted my butt to get it. You know, people right. take credit when you're doing well. Right, right. right. When you're failing, <laughs> they don't want to say nothing nope. about it. So, I, you know, I take it as a compliment, but honey needed to change. Now I got okay. this phoenix right here, and now okay. down a glitch is that phoenix. So gotcha. I needed a rebirth, wow. if you will. And that's okay. the long version, not really, but yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do people still go, Destiny? Oh, I mean, I'm from LA, so of course okay. people do that. Lately, I've had to have been forced to kind of correct them now because okay. yeah. if I'm going with this, they got to roll with it too. Right. Mm. So if I'm down a glitch, I'm down a glitch to everybody. Right. Except my mama. <laughs> and my I know, you, can't, you can't check them, no. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but they understand though. Right. But yeah, in, in public and work environment, mm. and yeah, it's a new, it's a new thing, and it's everything that I am now. Now, honey, I, I'm out. You know, you asked me about my midriff. Donna Glitch would do the midriff. Ah, Destiny Lightsey might have covered up a little bit more. Mm. Well, I enjoyed Donna Glitch then. Ah. I'm just saying. I, okay. I'm I do too. Though. I do too, girl. Because uh, the abs is they helping me <laughs> visual. I gotta get. My, I gotta get my. <laughs> I do calisthenics at home. Like uh -huh. I'm, I have a daughter, so I literally do all my stuff. Like I'll be tie bowing right. at home. It's real in these streets. You That's can't, you know, good. Yes. You get it where you can get it. Right. So you've been a dancer since forever. You're amazing. Mm -hmm. oh, what got you into dancing? Well, actually, I, I was. Like I said before, I was an actress, and I got a random phone call from my at my agency that said, uh, I was still like, I was like 17. Okay. And said, will you please uh, go to this audition? Actually, I was probably younger than that. Um, will you go to this audition? And I said, okay, sure. And it turns out it was Fatima Robinson. Ah. And Fatima was uh, actually doing a Coca-Cola commercial for... I forget the campaign specifically, but she was looking for dancers, but I wasn't a dancer at the time. Even though I was, right. I danced, mm. you know, I wasn't right. a professional dancer, and she took a chance on me. She said, I don't know why I saw your picture, and I just felt wow. like I needed to have you come in. Wow. And she literally ushered me into the industry. Like, she gave me every shot possible. Wow. Yeah, so, and then she introduced me to other choreographers, like, uh, well, Divine's not a choreographer anymore, but he got Akon and Lady Gaga, so mm -hmm. he, him, uh, Shoot, every big choreographer you could think of just suddenly was, I was very blessed. I don't even know where it came from. Right. Yeah. But, you know, out of nowhere, it just started moving. Usher, Chris, you know. Right. So you are basically Fatima Robinson's protege, and you've, got, you've gotten so much work um, being with her. What advice does she give you? Because she's, she's one of the, I would say, the queen. legendary yeah. choreographers of this time. Well, I mean, she just told me one thing she did tell me I was a little I want to say rough around the edges mm. but even though I was a trained dancer the hip-hop thing I was just a freestyler okay so um, that's when I brought the uh, stripper dancing and crumping to her yeah. and everything um, I was just she I was I was hard I was a hard dancer she said just take your time mm. just feel it mm. and if you think about it that's what she that's her right. swag and now as a woman I embrace that even more. So that's even more in how I perform. It's more, you know, feminine. Because I was very much, I'm still a tomboy, but I was very like, I'm going to tear you up. I'm going to tear you up. <laughs> <laughs> Battle. You know what I mean? Like, now I'm like, honey, lay it back. Get there you go. <laughs> sensual, you know? Right. What's your favorite kind of dance? Oh, actually, modern dance. Really? Believe it or not, uh -huh. I am. Because I, I feel like it allows you to... Uh, invoke every emotion okay. into what you're doing, even if there's no music behind it. You can right. be modern. You know what yeah. I mean? You can. It can be a, a, a Sade song. It mm -hmm. can. It could be literally anything, and your interpretation of what that song is saying or what you're feeling at that time can literally come out, and no one can tell you it's right or wrong. Right. Mm. You know, and I like that about modern dance. It's okay. just it's literally you. Yeah. Right. It's you on the floor, and so I've. Can't wait to show that even in my music, though, because uh -huh. I'm going to bring that back around. Nice. You don't have to do hip hop to everything. Know. Right, right. Okay. You well. know, we do a little ballet, a little toe, a little tap. That's true. <laughs> but you did do some hip hop. I, I did a lot of hip hop. You know, a lot, you, uh, that's <laughs> up a lot of hip hop. Because <laughs> yeah, you've 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 done music videos and and even dance movies. You know, you did the You Got Served, you did the documentary mm -hmm. Rise, and mm -hmm. you worked with Chris Brown and Usher yeah. and Christina Aguilera, all them. So. Who has been your favorite person to work with so far? I knew you were going to ask me that. Of course. <laughs> I knew you were going to ask me that. Well, <laughs> I would actually have to say Chris Brown. Did you mean? On, on your flow. flow. If, if you ain't, ain't let, let me know. know. Yeah, uh, we, I mean, the dancers, everything. He was, 
not was. He is a really sweet person. Mm. People, a lot of people don't get a chance to know that. But as far as the video went, every dancer, everybody was like family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you don't really get to feel that a lot. You don't really get to connect with the artists and and um, learn uh, it, along with other dancers, learn about each other. Right. Yeah. So that I, I honestly feel that was the smoothest like performance. Everybody was like, "Well, let's all go on tour together." We were just right. so you know, <laughs> ah, it was yeah. just brand new you know what right. i mean yeah. so that was that was cool so now but which music video like while you were making it were you looking around like yo like once this thing is done it's gonna be amazing oh wait 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 whose video was i saying that was gonna be like yeah, magnificent like, like, that was gonna be the one that you're like yo this is gonna blow up youtube this is gonna like bring trl back like which which music video? <laughs> um that's a hard one it is because yeah. you know what i, I Thank you, God. But I've been really blessed to literally work with a lot of people right before they went kapow, like, yeah. you know, Sierra and things like that. So even with her record, even with Usher's Yeah, we were like, oh, this is about to be, uh, this is about to be nuts. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that went crazy. Chris, too, we were like, oh, this is about to go. It, it's just, I don't, Christine Aguilera's Dirty video, I did yeah. that. And we were, that was also a magnificent um, mm -hmm. set to be on because mm -hmm. uh, David LaChapelle had a DJ for us just during lunchtime. Like, oh, so we would uh, be like oh, chilling yeah. and eating and he would even begin the lap dance. Not, not real kind of lap dance, but you know, <laughs> back then we were like I battling. Mean, it was and a it, dirty video. It was dirty. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's not as dirty. Think about it. Watch that video again. True. Okay. Dirty okay. ain't that when dirty it no more. Came out. It was a big deal. It yeah. was. Now yeah. it ain't such a big deal. That's true. And we all know why it ain't that's a big right, deal. Things have changed a lot in the last few years. So, What do you think about that, the change from when you first started doing music videos mm -hmm. and dancing to now, the music videos that are out now? Um, I would like to say, well, I see it coming back again. Okay. I will say that first. I, I, I will say there was a stretch, and there, it's, it's still going a little bit, where I feel like um, the artistry, some people just, you know, weren't taking their time on it. Okay. And um, even with, you know, choreography, sometimes I, uh, I felt like people weren't listening to the, what they were saying anymore. Mm. Uh -huh. You know, like back in the day, we used to listen to the records and then we danced and choreographed to what it felt like. Right. So when you saw it, you wanted to learn those moves. You wanted to, you know what I mean? We don't really do that anymore. Right. To me, I don't really, I don't really look at a video and be like, "Oh, I got to get that." You know, don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> right. You know, you kind of want that back, but it's coming back right mm -hmm. now. And um, as far as dance goes, it's a new wave of dancers. I don't even know anymore, mm -hmm. <laughs> to be honest, because I've been mm -hmm. out so long. But um, I feel it coming. I feel it coming back. And if not, I'm gonna try to bring it back, honey. All right then. Well, all no, right. No, I'm kidding. Every, ah. I feel like people are bringing it back. I really do feel like I'm being, I'm being re-inspired by music lately. Okay by new artists and things like that so that's good that's good so now because you were a former member of uh the interscope's hit group i square yeah. <laughs> 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 no, like, you guys had number five you know dance know. song on the billboard charts called hey sexy lady, hey, sexy lady. Right? you know mm -hmm. so i mean and, and one what what was it like being in that in that group and then two why did you leave all right well you, all right you want to know you want to know yes, okay girl. well it was absolutely amazing. Those are my brothers. Um, they will always be my brothers. And it's interesting that we connected two weeks before we ran into each other to be a group. Like, we mm -hmm. hung out at a private, like, about like this big, someone's apartment at a 4th of July party and danced the night away. Mm -hmm. And then a week, two weeks later, I ran into them at the studio and they were like, you're a Fergie. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm here for another meeting. And they're like, no, we're going to do this. And literally, wow. we made records in Babyface's lobby of his um, studio called Brandon's Way. Mm. And we pumped out four records. And then everybody was like, oh, hold on. Well, first of all, Damon Thomas and Eric Dawkins and um, I don't want to miss Tony Dixon were made this, the underdogs, if you will, made us this boiling pot of success. Mm. And Babyface took us out to New York and we. It was like a whirlwind, and ba and then uh, Puffy won the the bidding war, okay. if you will, mm. and we shot out, and it was great. And then some internal things, kind of as they always do, right. happen. Now the leave, I didn't leave. Mm. I'm not gonna say I was the one that left, and okay. I'd leave it at that. <laughs> okay, because I did not leave. Okay, so I will never, I will never, I, I never love them. I will never, okay. nope. Right. Okay. If I have to take the bullet, I'll take the bullet. But mm -hmm. I, I didn't leave. How was it being in a group full of guys? Well, good thing I was 
very much a tomboy <laughs> because, <laughs> because had I been anything else, this might have been really a, right. uh, a different very, story. Yes, a very different <laughs> experience for me. Um, good thing it was really like family. Like okay. it really immediately, like Mike J is actually doing really well right now. He has a song on the radio. Mm -hmm. Have you heard that song, by the way? I, I, I listen to it a said, lot I of the radio. for the week. I have for a week mm. with a Too Short and YG. Anyway, I have yeah. to hear it. Okay. It's on the radio. <laughs> But that's my boo. That's my that's my brother, and um, it it was literally like family. We went through a lot of hard times, uh. even when after we got the deal. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like we just oh it's our, here we are. We literally for a year dealt with right some certain people's financial woes, family things. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of things happened. So bonding like that allowed for us not to have as many problems as pr other new groups would have on the road with one another. Okay. So we could check each other. We'd be like, look, mm, you, right. you acting get up, <laughs> get this you being a diva, right. or you being, you know, and so it just made us, it made us stronger. So it was a very interesting <laughs> experience. We were on the road with LMFAO and, you know, those kind of, wow. those kind of groups, you know, right. we were turning up. So I was the only lady. Right. And, there, and all you, you know what happens we when the guys are on the road. Oh, girl. Good we, times. We, uh, how long were you with the group? Uh, technically three years. Okay. It was like a marriage, literally. Right. It's like a marriage. Hollywood marriage. Wow. Three mm. years. Yeah, three years. <laughs> if you make it that long. Right, though, right. Girl. That's funny. Girl, you might be two months. In right. <laughs> <laughs> so you took, um, so in two, 2007, mm -hmm. you did something a little different with co-hosting. Um, yo, Mama with oh, Wilbur sure. Valderrama. I forgot about that. May, how was that experience, especially because now you were going from, what, being a dancer to a singer to now Yeah, it was host. like a bunch of stuff. Well, that came before singing. Ah, well, okay. I was singing the whole time on mm -hmm. the low ski. Okay. okay. I've been in groups for a minute, uh, like in and out. You yeah. Know. But the, well, the, you know what, I've been really, thank you. Okay, because um, yes, once again, when I transitioned, Fatima got me my new dance agent after I left, I left one of my acting agents, and my dance agent started giving me everything. Wow. I was doing movies, everything. And um, there was a call that came in, and um, it came from MTV saying they were looking for a new host, and my agency called two people to go in for it, and it was me and this other girl, I won't name her, <laughs> but she didn't answer the call. Uh, and they didn't want to send anybody else because, they, you know, they were looking for actors and hosts and things. And right. they thought I could go in and do it. And I said, I'm, this is my transition. Right. Yeah. Back. So they can remember that I was an actress first and not just right. an answer. Right. So I memorized that sucker and I went in and I had a feeling it was mine. And I just, I nailed right. it. I didn't have to look at the paper or anything. And I just did what I'm doing with you guys right now. And they were like, by the time I left, I got a phone call. Like, you, you the one. <laughs> and I was like. Oh, so did it. There you go. Moving on from so, dancing. So, what's your best your mama joke? Oh crap! It was always. <laughs> wait, let me. This is a little dirty. Mm -hmm. That's fine. We're on the internet. It's okay. That's okay. That's internet, honey. Say which one's say. Oh, there were so many. Uh, okay, this is so stupid. I'm gonna go to this one. This one guy, he was so cute, and he had this one joke that said, uh, "When you were born, your mama named you Randolph." And he said, why you name him Randolph? He said, because when your daddy saw you, he done ran off. <laughs> I thought that was cute. I had another one I that like was, that. it's like cute, that. it's easy. It I had is. another one that was a little more raunchy. I went for the other. There you go. I like that. I don't have funny. to use that. Randolph. That's that's I don't know. Your daddy done ran like, off. It's real funny if you have an accent. Like exactly. Atlanta, accent. hello. That's yeah. why it was hilarious when yeah. he said <laughs> Yeah, he has, you know, I guess some spunky See, I wasn't the comedian. I was just the host. Okay? Yes. But let's talk about uh, the show, My Crazy Roommate, yes. on Bounce TV, Monday night. Yeah. Yeah. Black, right? mm -hmm. And you play Rochelle Williams, Ivanoff. That's how you say that? Right? Honey, I've been trying to work on it myself. <laughs> 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 I've been trying to work on it myself. Okay, we're just going to call her Rochelle I. There All you right? Go. There you Rochelle go. I. Uh, <laughs> Rochelle so is I. <laughs> what has it been like working on this brand new sitcom on this new network? It is awesome, actually. Um... It was great to literally be a, someone's baby and mm. part of someone's new baby because they hadn't had a show, a sitcom right. at all. Yeah. They were, I want to say reality based, but not so much reality based, but there wasn't a sitcom. And it was a blessing to do it with um, seasoned vets like, hello, Bentley, Kyle Evans, right. Martin, you know, Jamie Foxx show. So we knew that the, li like the lyrical context, see there's some music in it, <laughs> um, that the scripts were really going to be right. on point. And yeah. when I say they hashed them out fast, we did literally our whole season in two weeks. Wow. That's crazy. I don't know if they told y'all that. 
That's but crazy. we literally did 10 episodes in two weeks time and we had mm. to we had two weeks before that to bond with each other so you know every the show's about chemistry right yeah. right but um Bounce was very warm. They were there the whole way through. Okay. They were flying in and out. The heads, you know, it was. It felt really like family. We were like, wow, this is kind of eerie how well this is working out. Yeah. I actually have a story for you. Yeah. When I auditioned, um, I actually was, uh, was late to one of my chemistry tests. That's another story. But the guy that was coming to play my husband was late for our chemistry test, too. Guess okay. what his birthday is? My exact same birthday. Look at that. Wow. So for me, that was a sign. I was like, oh, <laughs> this is it. This is me and you, boo, all the way. And we have the same initials, too. Ah, how so, awesome you know, God will show you little signs when you're on your next right. journey. And it just, we meshed like this. You would have thought we'd known each, all of us for years. Mm -hmm. So it's been a real blessing. And we're, we're waiting for season two. I'm going to say that in the camera. We're waiting for season two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Put that out there in the atmosphere. And for it to show on Hulu. There you yeah. go. Or at least on Bounce TV. Or on Bounce TV. Com. Right? Just you know, give, me, give me something for those of us Do who don't have Bounce. You know, I haven't <laughs> seen about four episodes. Really? We're working and things oh, like that. And if true. you don't catch it, you know, that's when you're true. kidding, on, yeah, we're kind of, I'm, I'm just as swole as anybody else to me. Nah. That's, true. that's why. People I, tell you what happened. you like, yeah, yes. they're like, girl, you did good. On. I'm like, did I? <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. So, but now, tell us about your, your character, Ro Rochelle, because and she's in an interracial... Yeah, marriage. marriage. Yeah, mm -hmm. honey. She likes a little bit of that vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> that Russian vanilla. Yes. And, uh, well, Rochelle is a paralegal, but in her head, she is, who would I say? Tony, Ch not Tony Childs. She's kind of that Tony Childs from, like... From Girlfriends, Girlfriends yeah. mixed with uh, Max from... Uh, living, living single, single. Mm -hmm. yeah. so that's her high, that's how I interpreted her character okay. and um, she's a little flamboyant mm -hmm. you know she's a little fabulous she's a little <laughs> she sees her lifestyle a little more fabulous than she's actually living it okay if you will mm. um, so I, I kind of like let that kind of play out and I'm a little controlling with my, my little husband <laughs> but you know it works he's kind of a hippie and I'm the boss Okay. So it were, and then I'm kind of more the crazy neighbor okay. in the crazy roommate show. Okay. Gotcha. So what what else can we expect from Rochelle these uh, last few episodes of the season? That's a good question because I don't even know what episodes. Are <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love because you, Donna. I, 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 <laughs> I want to say that episode eight, I think it's eight, is going to be on this, this is next Monday. Is it eight? Okay. That's, <laughs> that's eight. what I want to say. Eight is on Monday. I should check that out. Um, <laughs> I really don't know what episode's coming. I really don't know. But I can tell you that I'm going to be on Love That Girl. Okay. Ah. I play Aminique, one of her best friends. I'm, ah. I'm like as a stripper named um, Moniqua. Oh, <laughs> yes, Monique. Mm -hmm. So you let me know if you catch uh, That's funny. <laughs> Bounce TV <laughs> on Monday. I hope I get to catch it and see what I did. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm in that episode at all. <laughs> okay, but uh, yeah, you guys let me know. <laughs> Tweet but, uh, me. <laughs> speaking of uh, Bentley Kyle, like Evans, yes. what was it like working with him? Well, you know what? I'm going to keep it funky. I can't stand no, I'm kidding. Yeah. I love him because he's literally family. Mm -hmm. He's literally, my godmother is his sister. She's a writer wow. as well. Wow. Stacey Evans Morgan is also the uh, co-creator, producer of Love That Girl as well. But I didn't get any, hmm, let me tell you, <laughs> I had to audition like everybody else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I've auditioned for other things that they've had before and was shaking in my boots. Mm -hmm. And this was the first time that I showed up and showed out. Mm -hmm. And I think it was cause for, because of my little girl. Okay. Like I said, you know, before it was like, okay, I'm, I'm doing it because this is my calling. Now right. I'm doing it because like. Oh, no, no, no. I got to make her proud. So mm -hmm. I kind of just left the whole, like, quaking in my boots. This is family. Don't blow it mm -hmm. thing in my head. I left it out. And he literally gave me the best pep talk ever. Even when I messed up before, he gave me a pep talk and said, I just want to let you know that um, there's this moment that people don't know happened with Martin and Tommy Davidson when Martin auditioned for um, In Living Color. Mm -hmm. it, was up, it was the two of them. They were up for the same last role. And... Martin was late. He really? missed he missed his chemistry test. Wow. Wow. And so he was hurt like I did not get my opportunity. What the heck? 9 months later, he got Martin his own show. And that was the pep talk that Bentley gave me. And that, hmm, honey, I turned, turned right. all the way up and then I booked it. 
See, that's awesome. Because he gave me that pep talk. Yeah. I so, love that story. Yeah. So what is your your favorite film or favorite mo movie that you've done so far? What has been your favorite? Oh, we. Uh, my favorite one would probably have to be, I would say you got served. I mean, just because it was so many, yeah. It was like the beginning of that dance wave. Right. Yeah. And we did things that people weren't doing in movies yet, that's you know? So, that's true. You know, they gave me an opportunity to really showcase myself in the mm -hmm. very beginning of the movie. Like, I'm right. in the intro. Right. I didn't show up for the rest. I was kind of upset of, in the, <laughs> at first. Like, y'all didn't bring me in the end competition. No, but, but then, you set it off. Like, that That set the tone thank for the entire you. movie. I promise you. I, I take you. it as that now. Yes. <laughs> Back then, I was <laughs> like, oh, I want to be the rest of the movie. But now I'm like, wow, okay, that was the beginning. And I got a solo. I got a whole right. moment. Yeah. I mean, I've really been blessed to be able to, like, showcase myself in a lot of Right. moments like I can't say it was me I could say it was another divine intervention but mm -hmm. it, it that movie literally bonded dancers that I hadn't met before like that are still working to this day mm -hmm. still booking that are actors and actresses like Harry Shum that's on Glee okay. he and I were like this and that's, that's from way back then like a, I can name a, n a number of other people from that beginning and we all have these humble beginnings together right. and so that's what I kind of appreciate about that movie a lot you know even though Marianne doing what he's doing you know mm -hmm. maybe, maybe back home <laughs> We went to high school together, too. Like that. Well, no, because we went to high school together. Okay. He's the one that picked me for the dance team in high school. How believe awesome it or not. Is that? Wow, this I'd is run. crazy how you're so interconnected with everybody. Oh, honey, I keep going. Me and Miguel went to San Pedro High together. What? Yeah. I could, I could see that. I, I could see Miguel <laughs> yeah. and San Pedro. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I have a number. Kyla Pratt, we went to high school together. I mean, there's a lot wow. of people yeah, that... Yeah, still, still, still live yes. there. Right. I'm telling I got a lot. Of, honey, I could keep going. Right. Yeah, we're LA all... LA native. LA right. natives. That's what happens. We all come Sorry, from circle. Sorry, country. I don't know about that. Where you from? I'm from Kentucky, honey. Kentucky. You know what? You're going to fix your face now. Uh, no, that's all right. <laughs> I have no, because, wait, who else is from Kentucky? Brittany. 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 Yeah. Bam, that's why. Yes. And I like Brittany. That's See? my girl. <laughs> that's how we're just nice I like people. Kentucky fried not... chicken, too. We're nice I people. Do. We're good people. And beautiful oh, women. We, surprisingly, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Jennifer no, Lawrence. No, no, really. No, really. There's a lot of pretty girls. I'm not going to say surprisingly. <laughs> she did. Because there's a, lot of, there's a lot of beautiful people in our country, okay? There are. I will say that. I'll say surprisingly. But, honey, y'all are exceptionally beautiful ladies. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Are you a military brat? I am. I knew it. That's what it I is. I stinking. How did I know that? I don't know. It always is. Because you're you Blasian, right? Right. I, See? Because most of the Blasians I know that are friends of mine are military brats, That's believe it or not. They two, import two, two, straight off the boat, fresh mm -hmm. off the boat, our moms. Ain't nothing wrong typically. with that. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with Ain't that. Ain't nothing wrong Girls, with girl, you could be Blasian. Out here we got a lot of Blasians and you look I, just like your I girl. I sure am. I'll be whatever you, you need Jamaican, me to be. Jamaican, girl. Be just oh. faking. There you go. Well, <laughs> well, but, but, look, I can't do it either. Well, sad. Okay. <laughs> sad. Just American and so crazy. Come. You should be a comedian. Oh Why do they keep telling me that, though? I, you should see, be a comedian. They you keep should. saying I should, but see, this is the catch. You got to go up there and remember your content. Mama <laughs> doesn't do. I said, Sally, you just tell a story. I could tell stories. But the, the funny stuff is true. That's true. I have a lot of, <laughs> see? Got a lot of bloopers. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I'll do it. You know, actually, Alfonso from uh, Love That Girl Keeps Telling, he's like, he's been like my biggest advocate, like get back into acting. And then I got this show, which is connected to the same company. Right. And then he's like, no, you guys do stand up. And I'm like, do it, girl. It's do not it. that bad. It's you do nice. stand up? He's a comedian, yes. So you going to help me? Sure. Really? Yeah. Uh, I might, I'm okay, wait. Uh, wait I'm, <laughs> look, I'm on camera. I'm putting myself out there. Right. Ooh, I'm getting a little hot. I think my do deodorant turned off. Uh, that, you can catch Donna Glitch on my next show. And oh, no. <laughs> right, oh, no. I'll tell so, one joke. Right. So That's now, okay, funny. you're going to add a, a comedian to your repertoire. But you're an actress. You're a host. You're a dancer. You're a singer. If you had to pick one of these, which one would it be? I would not pick one. What if you had to? I can't. Which they, one do you like the I most? I cannot. Pick they all, two. Nope. Because let me tell you why. <laughs> okay. I'm going to tell you why. That just because I used to feel like I had to. Mm. I've, had, I've had that question a lot. Um... My grandfather is in my blood. Okay. And he was a comedian. He was singer. Oh. He was did movies with Lena Horne and, you know, oh. like the greats. He was in Gone with the Wind. Who's he your had, grandfather? Uh, Eddie Rochester Anderson. Okay. And he, like, oh. they got moonwalking from him and things like that people don't know. If you wow. look, Google him, it's, he's got over 62 credits on IMDb. Like, this man has a star on the Walk of Fame. And wow. he was a comedian. He was all of these things, vaudeville and whatnot. So growing up, I always knew you could be more than one thing. Right. And I and what used to really piss me off was m people making me choose. Mm. Okay. Not that you're pissing me off right now, because <laughs> I know you're supposed to ask me that <laughs> right, question. Right, right. Um, but if I had to choose one, because I think I could do everything at the same time with doing this one thing, would be my music. Okay. 
And I will say that because um, music touches your heart. It can, it's the one thing in the world that literally control, can control everyone. Right. And right. I don't want to control people, but I want people to wake back up. I want people to enjoy life again in a different way. I don't want it to be all about you know, money and tricks and things right. like that all the time. I mean, mm -hmm. we can do that. That's fun. But there's other things you can do. You can do on stage. You can be theatrical as well. So I can use my acting and my right. personality with that as well. Um, I can dance with mm -hmm. my music. So if I had to choose, it would be the music because that's the one I'm, I feel like I'm most connected to in here. Okay. Oh good answer. God. Good answer. Good answer. Did I give you, a good answer? You did. It's a little like long that. with it, honey. You know I'm long. No, that's so okay. kind. I don't like the answer. Uh, so you're a mom. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your baby. Honey, Miss River. River. <laughs> yes, yes. How old is she? She is 20 months. Well, I say 20 months because you have to do that whole thing to like two right. years old. But yeah, she's like a two-year-old and Aww. talking a little bit more every day. Dances. We were looking okay. at... Um, by the way, someone from San Pedro, Misty Copeland, the um, ballerina. Yay, yes. So she yes. grew up around the same time. Uh, she might not even remember me, but I remember her. I always thought she was amazing because she's natural gift. Yeah. And she had a lot of people trying not to let her have her natural right. gift. My daughter was watching her on Instagram, the videos, and she was so inspired. And I almost, like, tears last night because she started copying her. My daughter's only, like, two, and she can literally pirouette. Like, she can kick wow. her leg up and naturally. And I'm like, mm -hmm. wow, Misty just... Misty from way back then right. is inspiring my baby to dance, be a ballerina. That's awesome. She was in so in love last night. Like, mm. how, do you, how do you balance that, being a good mom and then being very successful in your career? Well, honey, I'm not as successful as I plan to be, so mm -hmm. I don't know what that's going to be like. Okay. Honestly, right now, it's not that easy. Um, like, single mom stuff is, you know, right now she's at daycare. So I, I just got her in daycare a few months ago. So it's like the perfect transition. The show came out, okay. everything. So we're going to see how it works. But when mm. we went on the road last week for that whole week, that was the longest I had been away from her. Mm. And I, by the end, I could not take it. I had to get off the bus. I was like, I miss my baby. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my baby. I don't want to do this without her. Right. You know, let's hold your, no, for real. <laughs> she's, look, she, look, manager's in the corner. She's like, yes, honey. She had a moment. I could not do it without my baby. And when wow. she came to pick me up at the bus, mm. I broke. <laughs> Like, so Aww. we're going to see how that balance is, but we've talked about it, and she might have to just be rolling out with mama. Right. Mm. Until, you know, until she has to really be in school for real, right. for real, you yeah. know, let her come with me till I find more of a balance. It's but like Blue Ivy. She goes everywhere with her mama. Well, b honey, when you got we them coins, so, <laughs> honey, you got them coins to take the baby with you, honey. We're working right. on the coins. There we go. We're working on There we go. Them. Yeah, now <laughs> we're working on them. Ooh. That's funny. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yes, Thanks. I have my river. That's funny. One day you guys get to meet her. Okay. So let me ask you this. What can we expect from this solo career from Donna Glitch? You can expect almost my own confessions coming out. Ah. Wow. I have a lot that I have never said. And this is why Donna, that's why the name has changed as okay. well. Someone blessed me with that name. I asked them to give me a name and they gave me one and I said, it, it just fell out their mouth. And I was like, that's it. And it, once I Googled uh, like certain words and I like learning a I'm, I'm really into history and things like that. So I like learning the prefix and suffix of things in order to learn what the true meaning of a name is. Okay. Mm. And so with that being said, uh, the music will embody just that, Donna, the dawn of a glitch. And what's happening right now in the world is our matrix right. is glitching, honey. Everybody's finding out the truth right. about true. a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And with that music, I want my glitch to be my truth because I haven't let that out. Yeah. Destiny was really sweet. Destiny let a lot of people do her wrong. Mm -hmm. Donna is not the same person. Okay. Donna's going to tell the truth and Donna's going to be very transparent and that's just it. So mm -hmm. whatever comes out, I don't know what's, I mean, we're at, you know, we're halfway through. I have an EP almost done. Okay. Well, not almost done, pretty much done. Um, but the LP is, mm -hmm, we don't know what's going to come out. <laughs> Are you worried about what people might say? No. Okay. Because I've had a lot of, I've been bullied a lot in high school. I have a lot of people talk crap, you know, even when people thought I was going to be Aaliyah in the movie. All I did was do pictures to try to play her. Mm -hmm. So I've had blogs. I've, been, I've had everything under the sun said about me. I've been heckled, th things thrown, you know, being on the road, you know, you find ignorant people and then you find love at the same time. And yeah. I'm just prepared to deal with all of that okay. with this album. You know, reg it's going to be my truth. And I think people are going to like it. It's a little sexy. It's not, it's not all like knit and grit. It's like a sexy way to tell my story. So I hope just people, it's like lounge, I don't say lounge music because it's not that. <laughs> um, I like music that you can clean your house, drive mm -hmm. to, you know what I mean? All mm -hmm. those things. And I think this music will literally be 
that for some I'm people. excited. Gotcha. Thank you, because, honey, I will pass you the CD. I will, oh, some yes. babies might be born off some of my songs, <laughs> wow. to be honest with. That's good. Yeah. That's good so, stuff. speaking of this uh, baby making music that you <laughs> that you have, um, yeah. I know you said that you're a single mother. Yes. Right. Yes. But. But. Are you dating? I am not. No. No, mm -hmm. because it's not. I cannot do all of those things at the same time. Um, you know, right now I'm in the studio working with these amazing people by the name of Cliff Lewis mm -hmm. and Big Duke. And these guys are working with everybody right now. Like, literally just got a placement on, um, what's her name, Bridget Kelly's album nice. and different people. And we call that, well, they call their hub the Traxons, like the Jacksons. <laughs> ah. The Traxons. Um, and those are my bros. Um, but with that being said, they're kind of like my studio husbands. Okay, like, right yeah. now, I can't really, I've been in a very committed relationships over the last 10 years, if you okay. will, from, like, high school sweetheart. You know what I mean? Just, like, mm. really into that and balancing career now it's about do my daughter mm -hmm. and it's about going to get it okay so when the right one comes i'm waiting she's she's yes i'm <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going on camera saying i'm celibate right now <laughs> <laughs> it's by choice sort yes. of <laughs> but yeah that's my focus right now okay. you know i can't let a lot of other things when you you know us ladies when we let them come on right. in and we get involved and i'm very much mm, involved in my relationships you know what okay. i mean i'm very much a nurturer and i don't have time for that i'm not gonna nurture her and i gotta right. nurture this album honey so what kind of man do you like oh i like a hybrid of things uh okay. they gotta i have tattoos i have big ones okay <laughs> secretly so i need a little bit of tattoo <laughs> i need a drop of a, a little bit thug. i need you to know read books too okay i need you to smart thug yeah smart thug there you go okay, okay. i need smart a little thug. bit of a tupac ish right tupac ish Ish. Need a little bit of nerd in there as okay. well. Um, Not necessarily thug life, but hug life. Hug, perhaps. hug, yes. Hug, hug life. life. Okay. There you go. Th see. Hug life that on your stomach. You in. On your Hello, stomach, on your really? stomach <laughs> right across. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's that. I need you to be able to want to dance with me because okay. I don't. You know, some guys are a little coy with that. I like to act like no one else is in the room. If what if dancing. they can't dance? Would th is that a turn off for you? No, I've I've been with guys that can't dance. Uh -huh. Now. I know what I want. <laughs> you know, I knew what I want, wanted then, but that was okay. But now I want to dance with the next guy. Okay. I want to dance with him. I want to have a good time. I want to be adventurous. I want to bungee jump and do all these things I wanted to do in my relationships just to be adventurous and explore mm. the world together. That's what I want in this age. Okay. So I've had the other side of things. Now it's time to enjoy life a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. With so whoever fellas, that person is, fellas, uh, you can tweet Donna Glitch at uh, at Donna Glitch, yeah. and uh, you know, tell her, hey, I'm adventurous. I got a couple tattoos. Yeah, you know? that's all you need. No, I'm kidding. That's really not all you need. And I need <laughs> make sure that you you read. There's too. more. Like, look, there's a whole read. lot more to that. Right, right. But <laughs> I somebody, to with, somebody just got hug life tattoo on their right. Like, that's, that's my butt. Exactly. I'm coming for Girl, you. I'm for you die. <laughs> no, I mean, I just I like you know I didn't get to finish school college if you will, but mm -hmm. I like you to know, you know, if you're going to brush up on your skills by yourself, you know, right. we have some mm -hmm. foundation. We got to have similar belief systems, if you will. I'm okay. not all about like, you got to low in the, uh, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not, you know, okay. I, I go with the flow. All right. That's funny. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. Um, Look, are you available? I know. Who, me? Yeah. Oh, see, he said, is that no, on camera? No, no because, I'm joking. Look, see, I'm I joking. Was, I was looking I'm down at, at the uh, thing. But, you know, ladies, you know, uh, at the Nick Ritter, um, Is what? that your voice at the beginning of the show? It's it's not. It's not? Because it's, I was about to not. say, honey, he's trying to call him out. Hey, ladies, <laughs> I know, right? Um, oh, yeah, you know, you know, you can, you can, you can Google me, whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what What is the uh, name of this uh, EP that you have coming out? It's, a, it's, we're still working on it. You're still working on it? So it's I have a few names. Okay. And I won't, I'm not going to say them yet. But I have a couple. We have a couple ideas. I like Donna the glitch. I'm just saying. When you said Donna, that, Donna the, the glitch. glitch, really, oh. Donna of the glitch. You know, uh, like Jay you Brown. said, that's, uh, Jay put Brown. that put that on the list. Put that, add that glitch to the list. This. Glitch like, this. Glitch you know, this. Like, uh, it, wait, with, right, with the you know, right there. glitch. Maybe, <laughs> maybe glitch this tattooed on your stomach. I, as you know that might be the next one. <laughs> you know <laughs> that might be right? the next. One. <laughs> Lord have mercy. If my mother didn't kill me for the other ones, that one would be the death of me. Do you understand? She's like, <laughs> okay. Christmas time. Hey, mom. We need an intervention. Right, right. <laughs> exactly. That's what my mom's right. <laughs> So uh, what, what other projects besides the, the EP are you uh, working on? Oh, shoot. Wait, wait, wait. Let me think. Mm, that's really been my focus other than the show mm -hmm. right now. Oh, and then we're putting together the following of my life show. 
if you will. Nice. We have some people that are interested, and you're going to see some of my other beautiful friends and ladies that are actually successful in this okay. industry and very grounded, down-to-earth okay. women, well. doing their thing in their other fields, kind of that are in the many pieces that I'm involved in as well. So there's someone that's more in the acting. There's someone that's in music. Okay. I have a model home. Gr I mean, we have some really good chicks and it's not going to be like scrap down fighting <laughs> type of follow situation it's That's just good. we're about uplifting so not in the whole like corny kind of way but like yeah the cool way the cool way <laughs> have a good way yeah the good way so so 2014 <laughs> should be a very strong year for you oh i'm betting on it yeah. i have to you know i gotta feed that child right yeah you know? now i gotta feed myself <laughs> Don't I look like I'm hungry? Now, girl, you look good. <laughs> Do I, girl? Mm -hmm. Girl, I need a sandwich right now. I'll Me tell you too. That. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing <laughs> that I that I want to ask you. Um, what do you want people, like, when people say your name, when people yes. think Donna Glitch, like, yes. what one word do you want them to, to come to their mind just instantly when they say your name? She was really down to earth. And that simply, like, not in that whole, like, everybody, oh, thank God for my Grammy. You know, we all, that's the cliche thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it. Like, I really want people to get to know me personally because I think that's the best part of me is my right. personality. Um, everything else, music, vo vocally, I can, you know, everybody as a vocalist wants to get better at that. As a dancer, I want to get better at that. As an uh, actress, I want to get better at that, even though people might think I'm at the top of my game. But as far as my personality, mm -hmm. it's very important to me to work on that every day about, in my, my myself and my temple and who I am and when people see that radiate right that makes me happy and people are like oh I can actually be myself around her and she's not gonna trip right. I can fart <laughs> I can burp I can pick my nose there you go. and and she's just gonna be like oh you stupid like that's what I like about right. that being Donna Glitch there you go there you go, girl. I we need to hang out because I do all that stuff. Girl, because we be need <laughs> girl. No, for real. Right. We need some, real. Need some friends, girl. Right. <laughs> need some friends, girl. So now, where can uh, all of your fans find you? Well, you can find. I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Donna Glitch D O N N A G L Y T C H, and that's every other, including my email address. Not email address. Mm, don't you? Uh, my website and uh, Instagram. It's mm -hmm. all at Donna Glitch, pretty gotcha. much. So if you want to find me, honey, you know where to find. There we go. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Thank at Donna Glitch. At Donna Glitch. That's sim that simple. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming in. No, thank you guys for real. Because I'm like, fun. this is a cool set with you. I might just live here. It's, like, <laughs> it's a house too, right? Girl, they can get you working in here too. Don't do that. No, yeah. I like to work. See, that's the thing that I do like. I like to work. That's good. And as always, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Meg Scoop. Like Scoop of Ice Cream. See you next time. Yes. Find me all over the internet at The Nick Purdue. Thank yeah. you guys for tuning in. See you next time. From producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, Dario Kristen, and the entire BHL staff, we would like to thank you for tuning in to the Black Hollywood Live Network. If you have questions or comments, tweet us at BHL Online or email us at info at blackhollywoodlive.com. For more exclusive content, visit blackhollywoodlive.com. This has been a presentation of the Black Hollywood Live Network. Hollywood, Hollywood Redefined. Redefined. The views expressed here are those of the host owner and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or principals. Thanks for watching Black Hollywood Live on YouTube. For more in-depth interviews and news, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion in the comment section below here. See you soon, everyone. Bye.